and welcome to the play property channel uh, this is larry and we're going to be opening up a legendary uh, shield expansion um, so this is going to be an interesting one here so this one here uh, we've got a uh, hundred new playable cards we got four heroes two new masterminds of villain groups and eight special shield officers in a rule sheet so i'm kind of really interested in what the special shield officers are because that might change the game and uh, yeah, so we'll be back in one moment uh, after we get this open and we'll take a look at some of the cards inside. Well, looking well, let's look at the, <laughs> the rules. I just kind of was looking at this. This is actually this is quite, this changes actually quite a lot of things actually in this game. Um, so we got the special shields officers, which we'll get into in a moment. Uh, but let's get into like the new keyword. We got undercover. So basically, some currency of things like you may send a shield agent from your hand under cover. This means put that hero into a victory pile. It's worth one victory point. Uh, this helps to get your starting shield agent troopers out of your deck so you draw more powerful heroes more often. You can also use it to get rid of other shield cards like officers that you might not need later in the game. Um, also, the main heroes in the set are also part of the shield team too. So, you can, so they can also send them under cover. If you play a card and it sends itself under cover, you still get its uh, recruiting and attack. Um, and sending uh, shield heroes under cover also is key to increasing your shield level, as shown below. So shield, shield level is another new keyword. Uh, represents how agents unlock special operations, resources, and abilities as they rise to the ranks of the organization. So your shield level is the number of your shield and or hydra cards in your victory pile. Some currency, I think, like shield level 2, draw a card. You can only use this ability if your shield level is 2 or higher. This counts any card with shield or hydra team icons, as well as any card with a shield or hydra in its card name. Villain group or mastermind name. So this will include shield assault squads, hydra kidnappers, hydra council tactics, etc. This never consumes the card in your victory pile. It just is a check. So uh, Heroes that use shield levels... All have ways to get the needed cards in your victory pile. No one playing with Hydra villain groups and our multiple heroes that use shield levels. Your shield levels may naturally be higher. So, Also, we've got Hydra level. Some villain groups have tried to rise to the ranks of the Hydra organization, achieving higher Hydra levels. So an even greater power to do this to help Hydra operators achieve their missions and escape the city unharmed. They also subvert double agents of retreat shield and escape with key intel. The Hydra level is the number of shield and her Hydra cards in the escape pile. Some villains and masterminds say things like growing man gets plus attack equal to the Hydra level. Like shield level, this includes any cards with the shield, Hydra team icons, as well as any card with shield or Hydra in this card name, villain group name, or mastermind group. Some of the abilities put shield cards directly from shield officer stack into the escape pile to increase the Hydra level. This is not an escape unless it's the villain escape from the city, so it won't KO hero cost six or less from each Q. Okay, and then we've got Adapting Masterminds, which we will get into. Uh, schemes that, are, that count escaped villains. Uh, this might be a key note here. Uh, some schemes cross legend you see things like Evil Wins when eight villains escape. Um, these count all the villain cards currently in the escape pile. This includes other card types like Bystanders, Heroes, or Master Strikes that were turned into villains by special abilities and escape the city. However, some cards that set... Now, in this set, put heroes directly into the escape pile and raise the Hydra level. Since these heroes never turned into villains, they're not villain cards, and they don't count towards the number of villains that have escaped. So you don't have to worry about about the Hydra level affecting your escape villains count. So do keep that in mind. And of course, I talked about a few villains that escaped the thing, and they don't count either, because even through the escaped and the leave play because of scheme twist or whatever or a sense of becoming a new mastermind uh yeah that doesn't count either so that's just clarification of the escaped villains rule there yeah so we'll get into some of this stuff we'll have to get into this uh i guess maybe we'll do the special shield officers next or maybe we'll get into the thing but we'll have to come back to to the rules here a couple of times here. I just chose to go with the special shield officers first, so we'll kind of read the thing here about them. So this set includes 16 new special shield officers, featuring some of the most famous agents of all time. There are two copies of each of eight different officers. Much like the basic Maria Hill from the core set, all these officers cost three and provide two uh, recruiting stars. However, these special shields also have hero classes. So they got the strength... Uh, 
uh, covert uh, attack range and, and uh, an instinct and additional abilities that make them more powerful than their basic shield officer. So you shuffle the new 16 officers with the original 30 officers for all your games. So the stack is now permanently 46 cards. So there you go. So there's a new rule change right there. Uh, whenever you recruit a shield officer or gain one from a special ability, gain the top card from the stack. If an ability ever makes you return a card to the shield officer stack, put the card on the bottom of the stack. The special officers still count as shield officers for, for abilities that use that phrase. They are heroes. They have the shield team icon. However, since they have hero classes, they are not great cards like Maria Hill is. So, so basically, when you get this set, your officers will permanently go up to 46. Then you got the uh, first one here we got is Dum Dum Duggan, shield officer. Yeah, he's a strength. You got your basic two recruiting, but you got an extra attack. And you may send this hero undercover. So you get two of those. Then we got JW Bridge. Uh, again, another strength. You get to recruit. And you may discard a card. If you do, you get to draw a card. So you you some cycling ability with him. Then we got uh, Grant Ward. Uh, you got two star. You may send this hero undercover. If you do, KO another shield. Uh, hero from your hand. I think he was the, the one from the show that uh, that turned bad. Uh, then you got uh, Leo Fitz and Gemma Simmons. Uh, I remember them from the show. Uh, you got the tech. Uh, this one you get to choose. You get to choose either have uh, plus two recruit or you can get plus one attack and draw a card. So it gives you some versatility there. You got uh, Melinda May. Uh, you got two recruit. And if you play three shields this turn, you get to uh, before this you get to draw a card. So some of these would be more more good at the beginning of the game than later. Sharon Carter, uh, two recruit. Amy send this hero under cover. If you do, you get a plus extra one buying power. And you also got Victoria Hand. Uh, to recruit and with three shield uh, played before this you may send this hero or another shield hero from your hand under cover and you got yo-yo rodriguez shield officer with two play two shield before this you may send this hero under cover and put it on top of your deck so you can put it right back on top and that's it Oh, and just a reminder too. I think I think I read it, but you're supposed to put them. Uh, your shield officers go face down now, just like the sidekicks and like the bystanders now. Like the beginning of the of the game, uh, they were up. So basically, they all go face down now. And uh, yeah, we'll go into the changes of the different masterminds they got next. So another big rule change here. They got a, adapting masterminds. So in this uh, in this set, you get two basically adapting masterminds. You get the Hydra Super Adaptoid and the Hydra High Council, which constantly adapt your tactics to detect heroes in new ways. So currently, each of these masterminds is a new adapting mastermind with four different master strikes. Here's how they work. So basically, a normal mastermind is a mastermind card and four mastermind tactic cards. Uh, instead, these cards are basically going to be four adapting. So you're going to be only be fighting whatever one's going to be on top. And they're always going to be changing their tactics. And then afterwards, uh, then when you do fight, there's a dap. So you basically shuffle. So you're always going to get a different one kind of up. So we'll go through the, the first adapting one here. So this is uh, the Hydra Super Adaptoid. So this one here got Black Widow's Bite. Always lead aims Hydra Offshoot. Uh, start of game uh, adapt. Uh, which means basically shuffle and you fight whatever one's on top. Master Strike, each player KOs two bystanders from the victory pile or gains a wood. And then you get to adapt and pick a new new one. Uh, fight for each of your covert heroes rescue a bystander. Then we got Captain America's Shield. Uh, Master Strike, each player reveals uh, an instinct hero, discards their hand and draws four cards. Uh, fight, you get plus one. Uh, recruitment for each color of hero you have, including gray. And then you got Iron Man's armor. 
Master Strike, each player reveals a tech hero or discards down to three cards. Adapt. Um, you get your fight, count your tech heroes, then draw that many cards. Then you got Thor's Hammer. Master Strike, each player reveals a ranged hero or gains a wound. Fight or for each of your strength heroes, KO one of your heroes. You notice that they all got different. Uh, that's 8, 10, 12, 14. So they all got different attack values too. So you never know which one you're going to get first. And then we've got this one here. Hydra High Cancel. So we got uh, Arnhem Zola here first. Uh, you get plus fighting equal to the total printed fighting of all heroes in the HQ. Master Strike, each player discards two heroes with fighting icons. Uh, fight, you may get a hero from the HQ with a fighting icon. Baron Helmut Zumo. Uh, he gets plus one fighting for each villain in your victory pile. Master Strike, each player kills a Hydro villain from their victory pile or gains a wound. Fight, each other player kills a Hydro villain from their victory pile or gains a wound. Uh, Red Skull. Yeah, Red Skull gets plus one fighting for each two Hydra levels. Always leads Hydra Elite. Start a game. Adapt. Master Strike. Each player KOs one of their non-gray heroes. Adapt. Uh, fight KO one of your gray heroes. Adapt. Yeah, that's the other thing. They always lead uh, Hydra Elite. So uh, Viper. I guess plus one each for Hydro Villain in the City Master Strike. If there are any Hydro Villain in the City, each player gains a wound. Fight, discard any number of cards, and then draw that many cards. So again, you got different different totals there. 9 plus, 7 plus, 16 star, 6 plus. So Yeah, so those are the kind of new rules of Adapting Mastermind. So that's another brand new thing brought to the game. And then... Uh, yeah, I guess we should look at the... Uh, I forgot about the villain groups here. Um, so we had the first one there. Um, so these guys always lead Aim Hydra Offshoot. So we'll go to that one. I should have gone to this one next. Uh, so we got Taskmaster. Ambush, put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile. Fight, each player must reveal as many hero colors, including gray as the Hydra level, or gain a wound. There's two Taskmasters. I uh, don't know this guy. Uh, gravitation, maybe? Uh, ambush, put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile. Then for each two Hydro levels, heroes currently in the HQ cost one more to recruit this turn. Then we got Mantello. Mantello gets plus one fighting for each officer he has. Ambush, put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile. Then Patello captures a shield officer for each two hydro levels. And then fight, gain an officer captured by Patello or send it over cover, KO the rest. Superior, uh, ambush, put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile. Then each player reveals a random card from their hand. If the Hydra level is higher than the, the card's cost, that player discards that card. And that is that group. And then with the, the Hydra High Council, they do the Hydra Elite. So you got Gorgon. Uh, ambush, put a card for the shield officer stack into the escape pile and check the Hydra level. You can't play heroes at a cost this turn. Then you got Hive. Uh, ambush, put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile. Then each player reveals their hand and discards a card with no cost equal to, with cost, sorry, equal to the Hydra level. You get Growing Man. Uh, Growing Man gets plus one fighting equal to the Mastermind's Hydra level. Ambush, put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile. You get crossbones. I remember him. Uh, ambush put a card from the shield officer stack into the escape pile, and each player gains a wound unless that player reveals at least as many shield heroes as the hydro level. And there you go.
And we'll get into the, the four heroes next. Okay, let's go into the, the heroes here. So we've got four heroes. So we got Agent Phil Coulson. So basically this is his uh, rare card here. Uh, during any player's turn, when another shield hero is put into the KO pile, you may discard this card to send that hero undercover in your victory pile instead. If you do, draw three cards. Uh, shield level 8, you get plus 4 attack. Uh, impeccable planning uh, for 2 attack. Shield level 3, when you draw a new hand of cards at the end of this turn, draw an extra card. Build the strike team. Uh, basically, for 2 attack, uh, reveal the top card. Of the shield officer stack, gain it or put it into the bottom of that stack. Uh, covert, uh, you may send it under cover. Approve orbital strength. Uh, choose one. Send a shield hero from your hand under cover, or if you get plus, or you get plus one fighting for each two shield levels you have. That's gonna make the uncommon. Next one we'll look at is Mockingbird. Always been a fan of Mockingbird from our West Coast Avengers day. Uh, Infinity uh, Formula. Uh, so you get to draw a card. Send two cards from the shield. Officer stack undercover. Then you get plus one recruiting and plus one fighting for each two shield levels you have. So that's pretty cool. Um... Uh, or common, take cover. The two recruiting, look at the top card of your deck, discard it or put it back. If you did a instinct bef card beforehand, uh, the kicker is that that card was a shield hero, you may send it under cover. Okay, your next common is uh, battle staffs. Uh, two attack, uh, shield level two, you get to draw a card. And then our uncommon uh, spy master. Uh, choose one, send a card from the shield officer stack undercover, or you get plus one fighting for each two shield levels you have. So basically, it's a lot of building her up and making her more powerful. <laughs> then we got Quake. Big fan of Quake in the show. Uh. I don't think uh, Quake was, uh, by the time I stopped comics, I don't think Quake was in there. Or it could be wrong, maybe Quake was in there. It's been a long time since I read my comics. Uh, roll the Earth, Quake. Uh, you may send a shield hero from the shield officer stack undercover. Then for each shield level you have, up to five, choose a hero from the HQ, put all those heroes on the bottom of the hero deck, and you get their total printed fighting. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Aftershock, uh, ranged attack, shield level 2, you get an extra plus 2. Here another common, going under underground. Uh, 3 bind, uh, to play this you must discard a shield hero. Uh, range, you may send the hero you discarded undercover. Uh, Teutonic Wave, 2 plus attack. Whenever you fight a villain this turn, if its uh, fighting is higher than your shield level, you may send a shield hero from the shield officer stack undercover. Shield level 4 gets you an extra plus 4. Then we got Deathlock. I don't remember him being a shield agent, but I think he was in the show there. I kind of... Kind of lost by TV access, so I kind of haven't been watching the TV much. But uh, behind the enemy lines, uh, you may send a shield hero from your discard pile under cover. Uh, shield level 3, you get the total printed uh, recruiting of all shield heroes in your victory pile. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So that's as rare. Authorize Leo Force. Uh, draw a card. Shield level 1, you get a uh, plus 1. Is other common uh, it's a tech card uh, if you play tech before us the kicker is and you send a shield hero undercover from your discard pile or the KO pile then 
and you got your undercover Deathlock, uh, three buying, uh, shield level three, you get a plus three attack. If your shield level is less than three, you may send a shield card from your discard pile undercover. And that's Deathlock. So there you have it. There is your legendary deck. This is going to change uh, definitely some things. I definitely like the shield officers change, so I think this is definitely uh, recommended just for that, that alone. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to change all your games up right there. Okay, so yeah, so this is the, again, this is the Legendary Shield opening, and definitely recommend this one. And remember to play properly.